Today, I'm releasing for free a DCTL plugin for DaVinci Resolve to save you from making embarrassing mistakes when delivering your projects. Here's the problem. When color grading or even sometimes editing, you need to pay very close attention to your scopes because when you're cranking through hundreds or even thousands of shots, there's always that small chance that you may accidentally clip a little highlight or shadow information. Another issue that can sneak in is that one or two pixel gap. When you're doing some reframing in the edit, it's easy to have that be slightly inaccurate and to have a little gap on the side. Uh, and even if this isn't your fault, even if you're not the editor, this can be very embarrassing if the client catches it and you don't. So with my god tier level programming skills and a mechanical keyboard, which clearly proves that I'm a technical genius, uh, I've put together a DZTL plugin for DaVinci Resolve called ClipSafe. Here's how I use it. Before final exports, I always do a final watch through of the film. And at the very end of the node tree, I drop in this DCTL. And as I watch through, any pixels that clip either black or white levels will jump out in a very obnoxious color. This is similar to how false color works. Any clipped black detail will be a very bright purple, and any clipped whites will be an obnoxious red. This also keeps an eye out for any gaps from inaccurate digital framing in the edit. This would be hard to see otherwise. In this example, you'll see that the footage is moved in just a touch too far, and without ClipSafe, it would be very easy to miss this issue. What's awesome about the tool is you can custom tailor the plugin to your project specific needs with the white and black level slider. I find this is especially helpful because I often have a raised black point on my projects, so I can set the black level higher than zero black to more accurately check for the look that I've built. At the bottom, you'll find a checkbox that says waveform guide, and when checked, this pops up a black and white bar on your screen that will show you directly in the waveform exactly where the clip safe thresholds are set. It's a very simple and visual way to understand what the QC tool is doing to eliminate confusion. And if you're new to using DCTLs, I have a short tutorial explaining how to install them. Find the link below. If getting stuff for free is something you want more of, hit that like button and the subscribe to stay up to date on future content. And if you have any comments or suggestions, make sure to let me know down in the comments. All right, I'll see you in the next one.